Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to test if a player has any item in their offhand. So if you like Minecraft tutorials like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials and other Minecraft videos. And so I'll get started with showing off what this can do, this feature, and then I'll also show you how you can set it up for yourself, of course. So I'm currently in Minecraft 1.18.1, but this should also work in earlier versions of Minecraft. And so this command and feature will only work on the Minecraft Java edition and sadly not on Bedrock edition, since we can't test for any NBT data on Bedrock edition currently. So if the command isn't working, you're most likely on better condition and so I can't really do anything for you, sadly. And so I've made a video like this before where I actually show you how to test for a specific item in your offhand. And if you want to watch that video, the link is in the top right hand side of your screen. But today we're just going to be looking at any item in your offhand, then you will activate a command. And so we just have a single command block right over here that's going to do all of this for us. And so first of all, let's just get some items. Let's say we get a big drip leaf, some clay. Let's get this random deep slate redstone ore. And and we can see that if we put it in our offhand by pressing F like this, it just puts it in our offhand. That's just normal. We can select this, put this in our offhand or whatever. We can also put it in our offhand like this. That's all works completely fine. So nothing wrong there. But now let's activate this command block. So we flick the lever. Now this command block is active. And now if we hover over, for example, this clay, press F to put it in our offhand, we see that it immediately disappears. We also see that we replace this slot on me with air. All right, so I've just detected that I put an item in my offhand and immediately deleted it. So in this way, you can, for example, make it so you can't even use the offhand at all. Of course, there are all, all kinds of other stuff you can do with this. I'm just showing you how to actually detect if you put an item in your offhand. So that worked with pre pressing F. Let's also try to put it in our offhand like this by dragging it over here, click, and it immediately disappears. So I think that's pretty much all the ways to get something into your offhand. Maybe you can like, I don't know, click, click. No, you can't even get it back. So yeah, this can be really helpful if you want to test for just a random item in your offhand. As I said, if you want to test for a specific item, I would have made a video on that as well. But now let's look at this command. What is the command? What is the special command that is actually doing this? Well, that is this command over here. So it's an execute command. Execute is one of the most useful commands in the entire game. But let's just go through this command. I will also leave this command in the description down below so you can copy it over. But to understand it, we'll just have to go through it one by one. So first of all, we just execute and we execute if. So there is an if statement here. So only if the entity, so that's uh, for example, a player or a mob. In this case, we select the nearest player. You can also select on a name of a player or random player, nearest player, all entities, all players, whatever works for you. And then this player has to have some certain NBT data. And so what we're looking for is in the inventory, if the player has an item in this specific slot, so slot minus 106B is the slot for the offhand. You can also change this to whatever other slot you want, of course. I will put a picture on screen right now, which shows you what the numbers for all the different slots in the inventory are. If you want to do this for any other slot than the offhand, but I suppose you're here for the offhand. So that's minus 106B and then closing brackets. All right. That's the entire detecting part. So after this, you can run any command you want, or you can put a comparator from this command block. So if you try to get a comparator like this, get a new command block. Let's actually remove this second part because that will actually delete the item from our hand. It doesn't make it very useful. So we just at the very first part, it would just went through. And if you put a comparator next to it, let's also put it on always active like this. So if you put anything in our offhand now, you will see this comparator immediately turns on. And so you can put a redstone signal to whatever contraption you want. If the player is holding something in their offhand. And as soon as you remove the item from your offhand, the comparator also turns off. As you can see here, it's very, very responsive. But of course, we're over here and this command. So next we just run a command. So we run the item command here where we replace for the entity at P. And then we select the slot. So here it's not minus 106 P. Here it's weapon offhand. And then we replace it with air. You can also replace it with, I don't know, a diamond or something. But I don't really think that's really, really helpful because if we do this. If we put something in our offhand. Yeah. This happens, so it just keeps replacing it because, of course, you still have an item in your offhand. That's the diamond. But it does work, so it just turns into a diamond. So if you want that, if you want to have, like, a system that turns your items into diamonds, if you put them into your offhand like this, that works. But, of course, now if you put two diamonds into your offhand, it turns into one diamond. So that's quite strange. 
And so I think air is actually a better option here because then it actually removes the item. You can also, for example, give the player an item here or you can teleport the player somewhere or, well, whatever you want the command to do. When you have an item in your offhand, you can put it in here or, as I said before, add a comparator next to it and then put another command block there. That actually has the benefit of only running once, of course, the other command block since... Yeah, as we just saw with the diamond, it keeps running it as long as you have something in your offhand, which might not be exactly what you want. So sometimes with the comparator is actually better. And so now this diamond will be gone. There we go. Now, of course, you also don't want all this stupid stuff in your chat. So what you can do to fix that is just use the game rule command and set command block output to false like this. And now that won't happen anymore. So now if we put something in our offhand, we also don't see the confirmation message in our chat anymore. So really, really helpful. So I'll actually show you an example of using the comparator instead of just a single command block. So we just put in our basic command like this then a comparator and then let's say we want to give our player a little bit of jump boost every time they hold something in their offhand let's say for one second we get a quite high jump boost and we hide particles like this as well all right done get another lever on here so now once we put something in our offhand like this we get a very slight jump boost so we don't have it anymore but immediately after switching to our offhand we get a little bit of jump boost and then we go back to normal so this can be useful for i don't know parkouring or something which as you just saw i am not really good at we can see that it works and there's a little bit of time where you have a little bit of jump boost so there we go jump boost three and it's gone again and so there we go, that's how to test if a player has any item in their offhand. If you have any more questions about this, about this command, then please leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to help you out. There we go, I hope you all enjoyed the video, if you did, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more mega videos like this one. I want to thank my tier 3 member, this is Mikkelaar, thank you for supporting a tier 3 member. If you also want to become a member, click the blue join button below the video to check out the different tiers. But there we go, I hope you all enjoyed the video, I'll in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Mm,